Now, the day after world leaders pledged to give more than £7 billion for Syrian refugees, here's a story of aid on a much smaller scale. The Dirty Girls of Lesbos is a charity that collects, washes and then redistributes the wet clothes that migrants discard when they land on the Greek island. And uh, with me now, the person that set up that uh, charity, Alison Terry Evans, thank you for coming in this morning. Thanks, First of all, where did you get the, the idea from? It was simply a matter of I was there, I had actually been asked by somebody in LA to take photographs. <coughs> the, immediately I saw that there were clothes being discarded and, and thrown out. And so I, I just couldn't see that happen. These are perfectly good clothes that people have worn. And so I started to pick them up and I looked for a commercial laundry, found it. And so these days we wash about 3,000 kilos of clothing a day and plus blankets, up to 3,000 blankets per day. That's an awful lot of washing, isn't it? That's I mean, an awful lot of washing. How much does that cost on, on a daily basis? Have you been able to, to break down that cost? Uh, something like 10,000 euros a day. Uh, and we raise money from people all over the world uh, who, who give money, who believe that, that those clothes shouldn't be in landfill and that returning the clothes to the next refugees who are coming in gives them a sense of self-respect because they're able to choose clothes that are more their modesty levels and more the sizes that they need. And how are you able to, to get people to go around and, and collect the clothes? Are they coming from, from all over the world or are they there anyway? There are volunteers on Lesbos who come from all over the world who just give their own time because they believe that they need to be there to help the refugees because the governments are not there. So individuals are there to help people. And so from amongst those, people are very enthusiastic about being dirty girls. And we get messages from all over the world, people asking us, can I be a dirty girl? And they come and work with us. Is this, um, is this a case of very little help? I mean, you've got the politicians who are there. Their job is to solve the crisis in Syria. Um, but, you know, everybody can play a part, and this is just a, a small way of doing that. Everybody can play a part, absolutely. And I believe that this is my part, and the women who work with me and the men who work with me. Uh, every individual who comes to Lesbos does it because they know that they can make a difference by being there. Other people can't be there, so they will send money to help pay for the clothes. Uh, we have a Facebook page, which is Dirty Girls of Lesbos, and it's very important to put of Lesbos in there. <laughs> you mentioned uh, the, the government. Have they been supportive in your activities, or what, what sort of feedback have you got from the, from the government? We don't see the government involved with the refugees in Lesbos at all. If a government minister happens to come to the island at all from anywhere, suddenly there are no refugees. Mm. And what sort of feedback have you got from the refugees that, that you've helped with giving them fresh they, clothes? They really like that we have the respect for them, that we're not throwing their clothes out. Uh, they like that their clothes are going to be given to somebody else. Restoring some dignity to yes. them. Alison, thanks very much for coming in and letting us know what you're, you're doing. You. Thank you.